Hi folks and thanks for joining me. You can see I've got the schematic here pulled up for the RCA 8X541. Before we get back to uh, cause and effect on the uh, B plus side of the circuit and just confirm we're well there before we start with the audio section and work back toward the RF. I want to spend just a moment right here in this area and talk about the uh, output transformer on this particular receiver. You'll notice there's a uh, tap location on the output transformer and I'm going to take just a, a few moments and show you guys uh, the difference in this particular configuration versus your traditional uh, non-tapped transformer and what the purpose of the tap is. As I mentioned earlier this particular design is not unique. You'll see uh, various circuit variations across different manufacturers for the period of time. So the engineers, what they did was look at the electrons flowing from the uh, plate of the 50L6, in this case, the audio output tube, and you can see everything flows down through that primary winding back to the tap location, back over to the uh, cathode of the rectifier. And the audio signal from the plate of the output tube going back over to the secondary winding is through that top section of the transformer. You can see electrons start flowing through that lower half of the output transformer primary. They make their way through the resistor, R15 in our case. It goes through a coil, which is nothing more than a choke. That resistor, coil, or slash choke combination creates a filter to reduce hum from the rectified direct current from the rectifier itself. So you can see the uh, configuration with the electron flow. It creates an out-of-phase situation. You can see there where the uh, red and blue markers are butting up against each other. And that opposes hum from the output power tube plate circuit and what's being generated itself by the uh, rectified DC supply. So effectively, you know, what we get is uh, if both hum sources you know, would effectively cancel each other out in the real world. Of course, it's not a perfect solution. It does help mitigate hum. So what you would end up with is no hum would be presented over to the secondary winding through the uh, voice coil back to the uh, loudspeaker itself. So at a high level, that's uh, kind of how the uh, circuit was designed to work. Let me uh, demonstrate the uh, circuit here that I was able to uh, somewhat emulate by uh, using my signal generator by generating a 60 hertz uh, tone close to that and generating that noise so we can uh, demonstrate the uh, phase relationship and how the uh, circuit uh, cancels out the uh, noise. Again, this would just be a simulated method and of course the uh, hum variations between the plate and the rectified DC would be uh, different in the real world, but it gives you an idea in theory how the uh, circuit itself works. And looking at the oscilloscope here, you can see that out of phase relationship that I just mentioned. And for those that have uh, earbuds or headphones on, take note. I'm going to uh, demonstrate the uh, out of phase versus uh, no phase relationship just so you guys can understand the difference. So I hope you found the information I presented helpful. You guys uh, stay well, take care, and I hope to be back on the uh, B plus side of this little radio uh, soon. Until then, thanks again for watching.